しだけにて Hello, boys and girls, and welcome to my new channel. I thought it most appropriate to launch during my favorite time of year, Halloween. Today, kiddies, I have a spectacular t u g o r i a l Watch as I transform into a demon doll. And if you ask me, it's to die for. <laughs> Stay tuned. Okay, so some quick items I got for this tutorial. I got a demon doll dress and headband from my local party store, along with a pigtail wig. Ooh, child, I wish I could burn this up. You have no idea. I'm going to explain why later. It was a hot mess. Of course, you're also going to need a few items on this list. Don't worry if you don't have everything, you can improvise at home. God knows I went into my cabinet and I got out some of my makeup that I had lying around the house. So don't feel any pressure to go out and buy anything. But if you don't have white eyeliner, you're going to need that. So, with that being said, let's get started. First of all, I have nothing on my face. I washed my face and I moisturized it. There's nothing there. And I'm just using this cotton ball to show you. Ain't nothing on your girl's face. Nothing, nothing, nothing. And I think it's very important that you start with a clean face. You don't want this to be messed up, okay? I'm also going to prime my face with this MAC、uh, Prep and Prime. It has SPF 50, which I shouldn't be using because I'm not outdoors, but it's, it's pretty good. But be careful because this stuff gets really, really greasy. So just put a little bit on your face and just work that into your skin, okay? Don't overdo it. Trust me, you will regret it. Next, I'm going in with the Prep and Prime from MAC. I'm in love with MAC products, <laughs> I gotta admit. And、um, I am gonna use this on my eyelids just a little bit and work that in. But this is the kind of,、uh, you know, when you put these stuff in your eyelids, you don't go out, you don't go and cook, you don't go and clean up, you just you kind of have to go into putting on the eyeshadow. So don't take too long, okay? Next thing I'm going to do is I'm going to work on my brows, just brushing this up a little bit. Now, with a demon doll, you typically don't have to have polished eyebrows. If you look at a doll, it's usually really hard lines and it's not very attractive, but that's true to a doll. But I wanted a more polished look, <laughs> so I improvised and I、uh, decided I was going to just clean up my eyebrows. And this is typically how I do it. I didn't、um, pluck any of my hairs, so some of them you know, are poking out. But who cares? It's going to look really good. You're not going to be seeing me up close. So that's what I'm doing. And I'm just using a regular old $1 Jordana pencil that I got here at one of my local、um, beauty stores in Nassau. So I'm sure wherever you guys are, you can look for just one of those little cheap dollar pencils. They're very effective, actually. You got to mix the, the high end brands with the,、uh, with the cheaper brands. So I'm looking really good. Next, I am going in with my palette. Ooh, child, it's Tarte's Young, Wild, and Cruelty Free. And I'm using the Toucan Do It. I love this color, it is so bossy. So I'm just going in with my brush and just patting that on my eyelid, just the lower part of the eyelid. It's like an orangey, like a burnt orange color, which is so, to me, perfect for Halloween because, you know, Halloween is orange and black. So that's my thing. So I'm just going in there. And like I said, you don't want to wait long to put this on over your prep and prime. So just go on in with the brush and just pat delicately. Don't you guys hate when people, like, I don't know if you had like people do your makeup and then they'd be pressing so hard on your eyeballs? Like, it's your eyeball underneath there. So just be a little gentle with the skin around your eyes. What am I looking for? Oh, yeah. Check this out. Matte Ambition from CoverGirl. It is the bomb, okay? I never ever use this. It is 
fantastic. It's matte ambition, guys. You got to try that if you if you ever have a chance. And I'm just dotting this all over my face. My color is tan golden and it matches perfectly to my skin. And I just take my fingers and I just, you know, dab it on my face. You guys know how to apply that foundation. Guess what? I forgot. I'm not putting it underneath my eye. And I'll tell you what. Well, I'll tell you now. I am not putting it under my eye because I'm going to be putting white there and I don't want it to mess, to mess up. So that's why. And I'm going in with my, my uh, what do you call this thing? This marshmallowy thingy. This blender brush. And I'm just working this into my skin. And it's orange. I am a Halloween girl. Big time. It's definitely like my favorite time of year. Like you guys don't know, like I love it more than Christmas. I know I sound like a real heathen right now, but Halloween is just so fun. You guys have no idea. So just continue working this into your skin and just make sure it gets up in your hairline just so it doesn't have like that round mask that some people have. And I just try to use all the product on my, um, on my wrist, on my arm, whatever you call this, on my hand. <laughs> So then I'm going in. This is not a necessary step, but I decided I was going to do this. I actually love this um, Studio Fix Powder Foundation from MAC. And I'm going on top of that foundation from CoverGirl just to give it a more polished look. It, again, it's not a necessary step, but I just wanted to put it on. And guess what? I just realized that I put it at the bottom, but it's too late to even remove it. Oh yeah, I gotta drink that water. Mm-hmm. Stay hydrated, y'all. Keeps the skin glowing. I was looking for that. Can you believe it? I wanted to use that to put my eyeshadow on. I just found it. Oh well. So now I'm going to go in with my eyeliner and I'm choosing between Maybelline and a no name brand that I have and they're both really good but I find that the uh, Maybelline Lasting Drama just helps. It's just it's just easier to apply. And I'm going in with to make these freckles. I love freckles. I don't know if you guys do. I I used to be so jealous of people who had freckles like my sister has freckles and they're so cute. Love them, especially when they're on the nose. So there's no real rhyme or reason to the way I'm doing this. I'm just applying it on my face in a way where I think a doll would have them. And maybe I went a little too far up, but that's, it's a demon doll. She's not supposed to be so cute, you know? So just dab a little bit on the nose and just, just put it wherever you want. All right. Get a fan, dry that as quick as possible. It's looking good. Oh yeah, I had to pull out the, the paper. Because I do not want this to smudge. I really don't. So just, just fan that on your face and that'll help it to dry quicker. Oh yeah, this is the Iman. I love this. It's luxury blushing powder in peace. It is, you guys can see it, but I'll link it down below. Don't worry about it. And it is so beautiful. It really just... It's like, it's perfect for like a doll face. So I, I tried to make this as big as possible without it like taking over my whole face. Yeah, I'm doing my little dance. Yeah, just gonna go in on the apples of the cheeks and just put it on. And you don't have to use pink, you can use peach, you can use whatever color you want. I mean, just go for it and, and do whatever type of doll look that you wanna do. Look at that. This color is so pretty in person. Like, honestly, the video doesn't do it justice. It's really nice. Then I have this lip liner. I'm going to have to link that down below. It's from MAC as well. Oh, these little cotton ball thingies are on my lip. And I'm going, ah, oh, it's another one. I can't stand that. Yeah. Yeah. Anyway. Yeah. So I'm going to um, line my lips. I'm not big on lining my lips but I don't want the lipstick to feather. I'm using a matte lipstick after this and I don't want it to feather, so I'm gonna go in with this lip liner and um, hopefully that'll have the look, have it look more defined and it'll keep it from feathering. 
And some people just line like, you know, the perimeter. I like to go a little bit in here. I'm just making sure that everything is cool with my Cupid's bow. And I like to go in just because, because like, you know, I don't want my, when my lipstick is starting to wear off for you to see that harsh line around it. It just kind of looks so tacky to me. So I'm just going in and filling it in a little bit. Yeah, it's looking pretty good. Now I'm going in with my MAC Shocking Revelation. It's like number 306. It's really nice. I love the way Ruby Woo looks, but it's too drying. So I've given, I've bought it twice and given away twice. I, I don't like it. So, oh yeah, be careful about that right there. You want to make sure it just stays on the top lip. So I got this Shocking Revelation and it has not let me down. It's really beautiful and very moisturizing. So if you like Ruby Woo, but you don't like how it's so drying, give this one a shot. Now that white, pen if I tell you guys what I went through to get this NYX white pencil, y'all would not believe it. I was driving all up and down in Nassau for this in one store. One store had it. So anyway, just go in on the lower lip and start applying your NYX or NYX, I don't know how you pronounce it, in milk. And make sure you carefully put that there. I like that it has a pointed edge, so, you know, it helps you to apply it better. And this is what we're going to be using for teeth. And I'm going to show you in a little while. So this is also a white little crayon that I got from my party store. And I was just going in with this to fill in the little gaps. Now I'm going in with that same Maybelline Lasting Drama Liner. Wait, wait, wait. Yeah, I don't know what was going on. My head was, my hair was itching. Anyway, so just go in very carefully and draw these vertical lines coming down from the lips. Almost like you're trying to make like a ventriloquist doll. You guys have seen those. So try to make it as, well, as straight as possible as, you know, but it doesn't have to be so perfect. If you mess up, don't worry about it. I try to make it straight, but if it's not perfect, that's cool too. And then make this line underneath because what we want this doll to look like is like she's screaming. And so we're trying to create like this dark hollow space. And that's what we're using the black crayon for. If you have black eyeliner, um, that works as well. And just go in and make sure that it is as dark as possible. There's no gaps. Um, because like I said, we want it to look like it's a hollow mouth. So just go on in. And I'm following that up with an eyeliner pencil as well. You have to use double up on the, uh, on the tools that you use just so that you get the, the look that you're going for. All right. You see this white pencil? I'm going to go back in. So remember at the beginning when I told you that I was like, oh, shoots, because I forgot not to put the makeup at the bottom of my chin. And as a result, it was mixing with the brown because I have like a caramel complexion. And uh, so that brown was mixing with the white. And even though you can't see it, I can see it. And I hated it because it wasn't looking as white. Remember, this is, these are going to be our teeth. So, <laughs> unless you have brown teeth, you weren't going to be happy with this. So, I tried to follow that up with the crayon, the white crayon, thinking it would make it a lot better. Yeah, it was still a little tough. I could still see the brown poking through. So, now I'm going at the bottom with that same lipstick from MAC and doing the bottom lip. And just curve it to your chin area. You should be straight. And I'm going back through with the liner. Just again, so it'll be polished. So I'm pretty anal, y'all. So I had to take off that white because it was starting to bother me. The brown was showing and I just did not like it. So I took it off with my cotton ball and I went back in with the white crayon and it was much, much better. 
maybe I should have left it. I mean, she's a demon doll. She wouldn't have, you know, access to the dentist and all that stuff and all the good teeth. Yeah. Anyway. Happy Halloween. So just go back in and fill in the gaps. What are you guys doing for Halloween? I, I decorated my house. You see my boyfriend in the back there, the orange. And I have some stuff on my door. And I have all my horror movies. I'm just ready for this Halloween. Love it, love it. Okay, so now what we're going to do is do create the teeth. That's important. So do not use a regular liner. Go in with the black eyeliner that's liquid because it's just going to... My nose is itching, excuse me. So just go right in with the liquid liner because it's just going to look more precise and create these like big teeth <laughs> or little teeth, however you want to do them. It was just easier for me to do them as big teeth and make them, put them on the white. <laughs> and no talking, no talking because it's going to get messed up. And then go at the bottom and do the very same thing. See, my line wasn't perfect, but so what? And go right there and get it straight. Yeah. Mm-hmm. That's funny to me. Now I'm going to go in with the whites for underneath the eye. Remember when I told you guys earlier that, yeah, I had to take a deep breath. This is a taxing process. <laughs> you guys need to know that I, this is my first tutorial for YouTube. I've never done this before. And the only makeup I put on my face is like a basic face with eyebrows and a little bit of powder if need be. But typically I just put on shadow, eye, eyebrows and mascara and that's it. And some lipstick. I got to have my lipstick popping. Yeah, so just go in with the milk, that's the NYX milk, and create like these half moon circles underneath each eye. You can get it on the waterline and come a little bit underneath. You can make it exaggerated if you want. I didn't want it too big. I really just wanted to give that doll-like um, appearance, and so that's what I'm doing. And take your time here because again you want to make sure that it's covered properly then go back in I tell you boy this this uh, this eyeliner is going the distance and so what you're gonna do is you're gonna outline that half moon circle in white with the black eyeliner I want to drink some water and I can't I'm thirsty damn all right so let's go in And just get that right in your eye. Because again, you want it to look like it's an exaggerated eye, like it's a part of the doll eye. So just outline. Oh, I messed up. Okay. And just get in there. I don't have the steadiest hand. I don't. But it's doing the, the, the trick. And those imperfections are going to be hidden anyway. So now I'm just going to go and feather out this um, orange, pumpkinish, uh, toucan do it color from Tarte, just so it doesn't look so harsh. So just take your time. I know it looks like I'm pressing really hard on my eyeballs. I am not. Trust me. Now I want the appearance of like slit a cheek <laughs> this this doll is messed right up I don't know who's gonna date her so just draw a line coming from your lips on either side yeah just keep it as straight as possible if it's messed up then so be it but my old handy dandy paper to fan this oh yeah Got to dry it. Why is my nose itching? I have no idea. Anyway, I promise I'm not on drugs. Okay, so go back in and give it like this barbed wire effect and just, just these little short strokes. You know, you can do a few X's if you so desire. I'm going to do one right here and just keep going. Yeah, I like that. Oh, I forgot something. Yeah, so guess what? I thought when I picked this up at the party store that these were black, which is what I wanted, and I realized that they were green. 
Oh well, I'll have to make do. So the thing I like about it is it already has like some glue on it, so I'm just gonna press that into my eye. And this is the only ones I had, <laughs> anyway. I really wish I just had the regular black ones. I just felt like they would go way better with the um, the black hollow in my in my mouth. I'm really funny about stuff like that. So, but anyway, so be it. I'll use this for. I have a green wig. I have so many wigs. It's crazy. I told you I love Halloween, and I'm just gonna press that in. It's really simple to apply. I I don't know how, if it's as simple as putting it on the top eyelash, but it was simple putting it there. Then I'm going in with this wonderful MAC um, mascara. I think this is probably one of my favorites. Um, let me see what number this is. 038, is it? Or D38? I'm not sure. I'll, I'll link it down below. But it, it gives me great volume. You should see this in person. It's really, really nice. I have my movies ready to watch on Halloween and it's gonna be amazing gotta have the exorcist gotta have the ring gotta have some good old-fashioned Halloween all right so I'm going to create some cracks in my forehead this is my first time doing this I know nothing about this but I just want to create some images that look like okay she has a shattered forehead so I'm just going in with my black crayon and creating some things now I'm going to fill it in the crayon is much easier to handle so and I think I spent like two dollars or something um, yeah like two bucks for these crayons it came with like one two three four like five of them and they're pretty awesome so then I'm going to extend this crack, you know, because that's how cracks go. And you know what's so funny? Like, now that I look at it, it looks like a little witch is, like, hopping across my face, like... So anyway, to give that look, like, a 3D uh, illusion, I'm going to trace this with white crayon. See how it's coming together? Ha, 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 ha. And just go in. I'm, I actually impress myself, to be honest with you. I'm going to have to pat myself on the back because I am not good at drawing and I'm certainly not good at this. So I guess I can trace. This really looks like a witch on my forehead. Yeah. That's the dance you do when you know it's coming together. <laughs> so just keep tracing. Boom. How you like me now? Uh, uh, uh. How you like me now? Okay, so now I'm also going to create some cracks on my chest area. Again, no particular pattern. Just, <laughs> just going for it and then just fill it in. And I'm sorry that this portion was off camera. I was leaning into because I recorded this on my iMac, guys. My um, camera, my Canon was acting up. I don't know why. It just was giving me blurry images. And I was like, I'm not about to sit down and go through a whole tutorial only to pull it up and it be messed up. So sorry. I'm just leaning in, looking in the mirror really quickly. By the time I do the next tutorial, I'm sure this camera will be up and running and doing the right thing and we'll see the difference in the quality I'm sure so just do the same thing what you did on what I did <laughs> I'm doing the same thing what I did on my forehead which is just tracing it with the white pencil the white crayon yeah and then I'm just gonna do some little crap I should have anyway I am so critical of myself when I'm ready but anyway I just put these in just a few little cracks and then I drew like a little triangle at the end just to kind of make it look more crack like <laughs> and this was hard drawing sort of upside down guys alrighty time for the hair so remember when I told you all about this damned wig that I got from the party store. Yeah, I got to put on my little cap. <sighs> I should have flattened out the top part, but anyway. 
It's cool. So that's my little, that's supposed to be my little wig cap. <laughs> Hold on one second. You see my spider? Okay, so I got this uh, blonde wig. I thought it was going to be so cute and nice and creepy. Oh, my God. It had the pigtails, all the stuff that's scary. And I put it on. And it fit my big head, yes. But, chow, you see this struggle bang? This bang was busted, okay? And I just tried so hard, like from the day before, I was trying to adjust it and it just was not working. So I had to get my brush and just see if I could smooth it out. And I really took a risk because the makeup was right there, but it just would not go down. I guess I had to wet it or something. I didn't do that. So mm -mm, I was not feeling it and I just felt like this was not the business. It's so cute, but the bang is the bad part. Oh my God. So I just switched over to one of my, I tell you, I always have like these backup wigs. And so I, I didn't like this one as much as the white one. I'm really disappointed that this one didn't work. Maybe I should have tucked the bangs. But that's just too messed up and I can't fool with it. So it's sad, but oh well, such is life. So I went with this purple one and I, it makes me look a little Asian, <laughs> but um, yeah. I have it and it's a little um, purple wig that I got for like seven bucks and I love it. It was easy to comb through and I didn't have any issue with the bangs. I just wanted to make sure that the uh, crack wasn't showing so much. Yeah. Oh, you got to push it down, push it down. This is my own fault because I didn't, you know, let my hair loose. Oh yeah. This is the part I love. Yes put my headband on it's so creepy and it's blood splattered and this is what I'm talking about yes creepy don't you just love it I do and check out my little dress I don't even know how I fit in this one. Oh, oh really really <laughs> this is so crappy let me put it back on when we call the sea the well, kiddies, and that does it for this Halloween tutorial. I truly hope you enjoyed it. If you like what you saw, give me the old rotten thumbs up by hitting the like button, commenting, and subscribing. Until next time, see you in your nightmares. <laughs>